Hello, welcome, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and look what I'm going to show you today. I made this amazing cardigan, this amazing cover up. I made it long, so elegant with this earful and open stitch. It's so fresh. Either you can use it in summer or in winter using a turtle leg under and you will decide if you want to make it shorter or like me longer okay i will use it for a photo shoot enjoy well for this cover up we will need 600 grams of this material this material is between light and medium weight yarn i will use it in white and i will use the hook of number 3.5 millimeters so well now let's start we will make a long strip of chains that goes all around the wide of your hip okay in this case i made 215 chains but please be careful because it will depend of the weight yarn that you are using so please try on and see how many chains you need according to the yarn that you are using i will give you the measurements so you can have them as a reference so here i have one meter and 40 centimeters i increase more chains because i want to cross this cover up a little bit so you will decide okay and we'll take into account that in my case the widest part of my body it's my hip okay but you will decide maybe the part of your legs or your chest or I don't know it's the widest part of your body so take that into account and make the chains according to your body okay because remember that we are going to make this long and until this go until my uh, feet okay so well I, we will make this stitch it's so beautiful and open as you could see now I did get ahead so now I will make a sample for you so you can see how the stitch will be I will make a sample of 30 chains and then I will make a row with 30 double crochet well here I finished to make the 30 chains right so now I will come back making a double crochet of two crochet as you could see here but it's important that if you are going to insert your hook here you insert all the stitches the same way okay remember to not skip spaces always count at the end that you have 30 so we will insert the hook always in the same place taking both parts of the chain like this we are going to continue making 30 double crochet or well in your case the number of chains that you have look here we finished to make the 30 double crochet or in your case the number of uh, stitches that you have we will start and we will finish always the row with two double crochet for the edge so we will go up with three chains and in the next stitch we will make a double crochet so here we have the two double crochet of the edge we will make ten chains so here we have three four five six seven eight nine and ten then we will count turn over we will count one two three four five six and in the seventh we will insert our hook and make a v right there so a double crochet two chains and in the same space a second double crochet to make the v you see so again we are going to make 10 chains four five six seven eight nine and ten yarn over a count six one two three four five six and in the seventh add the v okay and like this we are going to continue the whole row ten chains and then in the sixth space the v well so look according to the sequence i made 30 chains and i have four spaces okay so this means that i will have four shells at the end so you will need to have a series of 30 uh, of 30 chains okay so please take that into account remember that we will start and finish the row always making two double crochet for the edge then we are going to make 10 chains 
and again we are going to make V over B, okay? So like this we are going to continue the whole row until we finish and remember that at the end to close the row we are going to make two double crochet. Look, at the end of the row we will have something like this, right? So turn around, go up with three chains and again to start we will make two double crochet. And here the stitch will change a little bit. So now we are going to make five chains. Two, three, four, five. Five chains and now look, taking both strip of chains of the last row, we are going to insert the hook right there in the middle and make single crochet. And then we are going to tie it a little bit and then we will continue making five chains and we are going to make V over V. Remember the V it's a double crochet with two chains and in the same space a double crochet. So as you could see this will be the stitch. It, this stitch will be made with series of three rows, okay? So we are going to make two rows with Bs and 10 chains between, skipping six spaces and in the seventh the V. And then in the third row will be a row of five chains, single crochet, five chains and B. So like this we are going to continue making as many series as we need until we get the long of the vest that we want or the cover up, right? But well, we finish this row and start with the next one to give you a second instruction. So look, I finished the row and I started with the next one, okay? So I made the two double crochet of the edge, I made 10 chains and then I will be V over B. Okay, so here I finished the third series. Here I'm about to start with the second series. And remember the row is with T, then chain, sorry, and B over B. So like this is how we are going to continue. We are going to repeat the first row of the first series, then the second row and then the third row. And I will continue making more series. Well, remember that each series has three rows okay to make this uh, drawing so counting the series from here until there until here i made 20 series and this is the long that i need and remember that the white we already have it with the number of chains that we made according to the widest part of our body so now i divided i use some markers to point it out the half and the fourth part of each half so well, once that you divide it, here we are going to fold and here is where the slip will be. So here with other thread, I will make a knot and make the chains that I need according to the long of the slip that I want. In this case, I made 15 in case that you want. In the other side, I made the same, okay, I, I fold it and here I've made 15 chains for the second slip. Okay, because this is the long of the slip that I want. Well, for now on, I will make first one part, one front, and then the second front. So I will continue with the same stitch from here to here, making as many rows as I need. And in the other side, we are going to make the same two, taking into account the 15 chains for the slips. When we finish to make these two fronts, we are going to make the back also taking into account the 15 chains each side that we increased right but well first I will start with the back making as many series as I need I will continue straight and then in the fronts I will reduce to make the neckline the B neck that I want so I will make first the neck the back and then I will show you how we are going to continue Look, I did get ahead, I made the back, I continue straight, taking into account the 15 chains each side. I continue with the first front and as you could see, I reduced to make the v-neck that I want. In some cases, I made just the half of the drawing to, to reduce. And in the side of the other side of the sleeve, I continue straight. I made 9 series for the sleeve. And for the back too, okay? 
So what we made here, we are going to repeat it in the other side too. So this is the second front. This is the sleeve. These are the 15 chains that I made. This will be the armhole. So we will fold it like this and we will continue making the rows from here to here and then here and like this, okay? Until we get the same number of series that we made. And in this side, we are going to reduce a little bit to make the B neck that I want in my case, okay? So I will show you, we are going to make the same number of series. So well, we are going to repeat what we made, remember. And what I'm going to do now is that first I will make one series the same way and then see you at the end of this series to teach you how we are going to reduce in the second series, okay? So see you there in the second series to teach you how we are going to reduce. And well, in the back I didn't finish this, the last row of the series because with the last row I wanted to join the, the fronts too. So I leave that part in hold. We will make that until we finish the second front. As you can see here, uh, now we will continue with the front. Okay, here I did uh, take into account the 15 chains that we made for this leaf, and I continue and I made the back. Okay, I continue straight uh, and I made the back. Now we are going to make the front. Okay, so we will start right here where is the marker and we will take this thread and now use a new one to start with the second front. Well, remember to leave uh, the long thread so later we can hide it either while we crochet or using the embroidery and needle to hide them, right? So now we are going to continue. First, we are going to make a double crochet and we are going to make a stitch over a stitch. So here we will start, we'll make first the two double crochet of the edge at the beginning and at the end of the row and then we will make, well here we are finishing, okay the second double crochet and well then we are going to make 10 chains, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And we are going to insert the hook right over the V, right here. And well, basically we are going to continue with the same stitch that we were making. Remember to take into account the 15 chains that we made for the sleeves. And we will continue here, making V over V. Then we will make a second row like this. And then the third row, remember, that will change a little bit where we make the single crochet taking both strips of the 10 chains that we made in the last two rows. See you in the, at the end of the series to teach you how we are going to reduce to make the v-neck. Okay, but for now, uh, see you at the end of this first series, at the end of these three rows. Well, we finished the series and remember, that we give the same uh, stitch, we finish the three rows. And remember that we keep making the two double crochet of the beginning and of the end of the row, okay? This will be for the edge, so please take that into account. Well, now that we finished the first series, we are going to start the radius. We will start the same, making the first two double crochet for the edge. And to reduce, we are going to make, instead of making 10 chains, we are going to make just a half. We are going to make 5 chains, and then we will continue with the stitch. Only we will make 5 chains here at the beginning to reduce. Remember that we have to make this in the part of the neckline. And then in the rest, we will continue making 10 chains. And then the V, okay? Only at the beginning we will reduce, making five chains. We will continue the same until here. Remember, here we will continue straight and we will keep with the two double crochet of the end. Then we will come back and see you again here in the same point to teach you how we are going to reduce again. 
Look, here I am at the end of the second row, okay? So I will make just a half, five chains, and the last two double crochet of the edge. And then we are about to start with the third row. So turn around and go up with three chains, and then the second double crochet. This will be for the edge, remember always. Then two chains, and we are going to take the half and make single crochet. And like this is how we are going to reduce, you see. So then two chains, and then B over B, and then we will continue with the rest of the stitch. And in the other side, we will continue straight, remember. And like this is how we are going to reduce, okay? Always in the side of the neckline okay to have the mean v neck that we want so we make just a half of the first segment right to reduce then we will continue with five chains single crochet and then five chains again remember that here we are finishing the second series and this is the third row according to the stitch that we have been making well here I will finish the row and when I came back when I'm about to arrive here see you here to teach you what's next well look here I'm about to finish the row and now we made B over V and then right away without making any chain we are going to make the last two double crochet of the edge like this well now see here we finish the row right so now we turn around and in the next series we will skip and disappear this part okay so according to this stitch we will make this okay so we will go first with three chains then we are going to make the second double crochet of the edge but we are going to make it right here to disappear this B you see right away we are going to convert and transform this B into one double crochet you see so now we will continue this will be the second row of the series and we are going to alternate once we are going to make a small segment and once in the next series we are going to make a big segment with the complete chains okay so here at the beginning we will start with 10 chains and like this is how we are going to alternate and reduce until we get the white of the shoulders and the neck, B neck that we want. So here we are going to finish the series complete and just here, remember at the end we are going to finish with these two double crochet of the end. Then in the next series we are going to make a small segment like the one we made here. Well here we finish the series, right? And we finish making the big segment, you see? So now we are going to alternate and now we have to make here, in this series, we are going to reduce and make the small segment. We will start with the two double crochet of the beginning and now we are going to make five chains. Just let me take more yarn. So we have one, two, three, four, five chains. And right away we are going to continue and make the next B, insert the hook right there where the B is, and you see here we reduce. Then in the second row we will do the same like we made here, remember? And like this is how we are going to alternate segments. But well, let's continue and let's make more rows until we get the long of the front that we need and remember that also according to the number of series that we made for the back and see you there to teach you what's next look here I finished to make the front remember that here is where we started with my first one series and then in the next one we start reducing we made a small segment, big segment, a small segment, and then we alternate like this, you see? So now to count, we will count like this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine series. We are going to make the same in the back and in the second front, okay? We are going to make the same number. 
and remember that I did take into account the 15 chains so I came back and I come back and I reduced to make the neckline and the pin neck that I wanted at the end I have here one two three four and just a half of the fifth B and I finished when I had nine series so well once you have all your pieces ready let's join them look here I finished so I have all my pieces ready now I will finish the last row of the back that I will use it to join with the two fronts so here I will start the same I will make the two first double crochet of the edge so I will go up with three chains and while we make this we are going to join with the other side okay so we are going to match stitches and right here we are going to take both threads it's important then um, a slip one and you join then we are going to come back to the other side to complete the stitch and complete the second double crochet of the edge you see and then here again we are going to come back to the other side and a slip one and like this is how we are going to join while we crochet and make the last row then one two three four five five chains and then I will take the second front I mean sorry the back and slip one make single crochet and then make the next five chains to complete the 10 chains that we made here in this part we are going to make B over B we are going to make two chains out of the two chains of the uh, chains that we made between the V's and then we come back and complete the V right here and this is how we are going to join and keep with the drawing you see well so here again we are going to make the next five chains one two three four five we will keep with the drawing single crochet then the next five chains and then we are going to complete the V but remember that just one chain and then we go to the other B a slip one and then we come back to complete the V in the other side you see and like this is how we are going to join while we crochet and like this the join will perfectly, perfectly blend sorry and well we are going to finish to join this first front then we are going to continue with the stitch here only in the back and then when we arrive to the other front we are going to join while we crochet the last row okay well like this is how I will continue and then at the end I will show you how it looks well look this is how it looks I already finished to join both fronts I have the V neck that I wanted at the end this stitch will look so beautiful when we iron it so don't worry so far it looks good right but when we iron it has a magical effect well now we are going to make the last rows here we made the two double crochet for the edge and also here in the sleeves but here in the neck I feel that something is missing so we are going to make some rows first I will reduce a bit I will make five chains and single crochet five chains and single crochet here to reduce okay the back and then when we finish that throw we are going to make a single crochet throw then in the bottom we are going to make also some st st stitches I will show you here in the bottom we are going to decorate you can put some fringes there or pom-poms or just leave it like this you will decide okay I will show you my idea in case that you want to make it like me so let's start but for now let's finish the neck here we will reduce a bit and then I will show you well look here I finished first I made the row of five chains one single crochet five chains and single crochet and then I made one row of single crochet so I think it reduced a bit and it looks so good now right so now I will show you how I will decorate my sleeves and the bottom okay let's start well for the bottom we are going to and make a different stitch okay here where we have the double crochet 
right here in the bottom, we will start right in the corner. We will make first chains. One, from sorry, from here we will start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then we are going to make one, two, three, three chains more. We will come back and in the fourth chain, we will insert your hook and make a double crochet out of three crochet. You see, turn over and turn your hook, take one, two, and the last two. Four, five, and six, okay? And counting the first chains that we made, we have seven double crochet. So we will take the hook and we will insert the hook in the first double crochet and bring them through to close, then one chain to close. We will come back to the beginning, insert the hook, and slip one to close and make this beautiful burn, you see? Then again, we are going to make 10 chains. And then, more or less, we will calculate, okay? After these 10 chains, we will calculate the spaces. Please uh, take the same distance between each pair, okay? So here where is the V, it's where I will insert the hook and make single crochet to close. And in the bottom of each V, it's where I will insert the hook and I will leave the same distance. So again, I will make 10 chains, then three more extra chains, I will come back and in the fourth, I will insert the hook and make the seventh double crochet out of three crochet. Remember that the first three chains will, will count as one double crochet. So once I finish to make this double crochet, I will take the hook out and place it in the first and bring them through slip one, make one chain to close, come back where I started to close and create the pair. Then again, 10 chains and I will insert the hook right in the bottom at the same distance where the V is. So like this is how I will decorate the bottom and like this is how we are going to decorate or slips too, okay? If you want, maybe you can leave between them less chains, but you will decide, okay? Please be careful, try not to uh, tie too much, try to keep with the shape and everything. Um, then, we are going to iron with the steam. Here the purse, I think that we don't need to iron them, okay? Just leave them puffy like this. We are just going to iron the rest. And well, now let's see how it looks. It's so easy and beautiful, and I hope that you are enjoying it. Well, what do you think? I hope that you have enjoyed making this beautiful cover-up like me. I made this one for a special shoot that I will have, a Christmas photo shoot that I will have with my kids, and that's why I decided to make something amazing, okay? I hope that soon I can share one picture so you can see how it looks. Thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. Please don't forget to give me a like, to subscribe, it's completely free, and to leave me a comment too. If you really like it, don't forget to share it. Thank you so much, and please stay tuned for the coming videos, and please follow me also in all my social media. It was a pleasure to share this idea with you, and see you soon. Take care, and... Have amazing holidays. Bye-bye.